Welcome to Sick Beggars YouTube channel. I'm Steve. We're right in the middle of doing an Advan Black color swap. And during that color swap, I noticed a few things on the street glide that I kind of want to change. This video will be posted after this color swap is all the way completely done. If you're watching this video and you're interested in the Advan Black color swap stuff, what we're doing back here, this bike started out as a charcoal pearl bike and the Advan Black color swap combo kit. We're changing it to this Zephyr Blue. We still have the rear of the bike to go. Uh, it'll be a four part series video so check that out if you want to but today one of the things that I noticed over on the air cleaner side was my servo cover on the side of your air cleaner you got servo wires it's a little wire loom thing that sticks out over there and it's just kind of gaudy looking and we bought one from Ciro 3d probably I don't know four years ago and it's a little plastic piece that goes over it and it bolts on most servo covers are designed to work only with like specific air cleaners and this one that we got from Kiriakin today is kind of a universal one I hope and if you've watched my channel at all in the past you'll know how I feel about Kiriakin they're kind of hit and miss some of their parts are okay and some of them just need to be scrapped so um, this one I hope goes as smooth as I think it will go but this is the Bantam throttle servo cover for the twin cam with electric throttles I bought one from Ciro 3d I don't know probably four or five years ago and it's been on there for a long time and it was plastic and had some chrome strips on it uh, I don't even think I'm pretty sure they don't sell it anymore but over the last four years that thing's got hot and that plastic chrome has kind of bubbled up and stuff so we're, we've got that thing we got it off there and I didn't really notice it because we're not really riding the street glide as much anymore since we got the road glide. But now that we're giving the street glide a bunch of love, um, those are just little things that I want to get fixed. So the part number on this would be Kiriakin 9845. It's for 08 and up touring. Uh, and it gives a list of bikes that it fits. You can check that out online. If I have a link to this on Amazon, I'll put it down below. And of course, all the tools that I'll be using today will also be linked down below as well. So I'm gonna drag you over here and we're gonna get started on this install. So I'm over here with our Arlen S air cleaner and right here on the back side, you'll see this black wire rubber thing coming down here. That is your throttle servo. This is the throttle server cover now. So basically this part here just goes behind the air cleaner and you can see this cup just kind of covers all of this and kind of pretties that up. This does absolutely nothing. It doesn't uh, make your bike go faster. It doesn't make it any louder. It doesn't do anything. It's just a cover. But regardless, I mean, that's just own personal taste. So if you're interested in installing one of these, I'm going to show you how. Inside the hardware kit, you'll get a new gasket, of course, because you do have to take the air cleaner off. So you'll need a new gasket for that. And it appears we have a zip tie and uh, a couple of washers. Not quite sure yet because I haven't looked at the direction. So I stand corrected. These washers that I call washers are not washers. They're breather shims um, for one piece breather designs. I don't know. guess we'll figure it out when we get in there. I don't really know what that means. Um, but anyway, those are not washers. They're breather shims. Looks like we got some forbidden honey in here. A little bit of blow by on this bike. If you see that oil, don't freak out. It's called blow by. These banjo bolts right here, they're designed to do that. So it's it's okay. Uh, if you're riding your bike and it's super hot, uh, you get home and you got some oil sprayed down, uh, it's because you got blow by. And the banjo bolts that come out of the top here and come into here, what it's supposed to do is feed that blow by back into the air cleaner. It's supposed to go back in and get burnt, but it doesn't get burnt that well as you can see because there's oil all over my frame there so but don't freak out if you got that it's not a big deal new thing looks good so 
So now that I have that banjo bolt out, you can see the hole that's in there. You look up here, there's a hole up here. So it has a little hole in there that that's supposed to come out and come out over here and go in there and it just doesn't work. So Now that we've got the banjo bolts out, we've got three bolts here that just hold this onto the throttle body. And of course this system has three bolts on it and all three bolts are a different size because these companies can't get their shit together and just put the same size Torx head bolt in everything. So what fell is this little spindle right here. That one's still stuck pretty good, but they have rubber O-rings so that when that fits back on there, see that rubber O-ring, this rubber O-ring is actually stuck to this, but it goes in the backing plate that we just took off. So I'm gonna gently set that off to the side. Got our little filter here, which came off really nice. There's really not a lot to clean there. I'm gonna take some brake cleaner just on my towel like that and go around that in case there's any of that oil on there because our new gasket has a sticky side to it and if there's any oil on there it won't stick it's got a little peely thing on it and I cleaned that really good and that's not sticking worth the shit so that's really good sticky tape, Kiriakin. Thanks. And that's kind of what I meant when I talk about the stuff from Kiriakin being hit or miss. If you're not going to put tape on there that's sticky enough to make it stick, then just don't even put it on there. So in the bag, they have included a zip tie. But what they want you to do is take this zip tie that's bent the wrong way, like that, in the bag. So now you had to fight with that shit. They, wanna, they want you to take that and uh, bend it the right way. And then they want you to pull this up so it's tight to make this as small as you can make it because this is like big and loopy and our cover is not that big. So we wanna take this wire, go over the plug, not the wires, but over the plug, put it in. We're gonna pull this up tight. Take your side cutters. Get in here, cut that baby off. And by the way, Kiriakin has just recently sold out to Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson is a dis distribution center. It's not a, it's a company, but they don't make parts. It's just a distribution center. Um, when we did the soft tail, it was really, really hard to find the parts that we were looking for, the chrome covers and stuff that we were looking for. Um, called them up and uh, couldn't get a lot of those parts. But also, if you're needing any kind of assistance from Kiriakin right now, as far as tech support goes, they have zero. Had a bike in here the other day that just had some Kiriakin parts and the instructions that they included were garbage. And it was one of those things where I really needed to see where a particular piece went on this install. Because usually you can just kind of figure this stuff out, but this one, you couldn't. So called them up, called up Kiriakin, they still have a phone number. You punch in for tech support and it just takes you to the front desk lady or whoever it is, probably somebody just sitting at home answering the phone. I said, hey, I need to talk to somebody in tech about this part. No, we don't have a tech support. Okay, but you're still selling these parts? Yep, but you have no tech support. Nope. Okay, so if we buy this part and we need help with something, we're just screwed? Yep, so buyer beware so this goes on like this and i can't see anywhere in here where we're going to need our spacers um so i'm just going to assume this is going to mount up right there like that let's try to line all this stuff up because that is not sticky at all i'm going to line this up on my backing plate try to get one of my bolts in here like that so when i get this thing up there hopefully I can get this one all the way in and that piece of paper will stay. If not, we're going to have to fight this thing. You definitely, 
definitely have to have that gasket in there. Now I have to make sure that my gasket is up in place. It is. Get our banjo bolts started with our spacers in there. All right. So this style air cleaner from Arlen Ness, it's a reusable air cleaner that you just clean with soap water, right? Just hot soap water, spray it out real good, and then let it dry and put it back on your bike. Now, before I get comments about you should have used a brake cleaner or something like that, that, remember that stuff is highly flammable. So you do have to let this dry before you put it back on your bike. And if you use brake fluid or starter fluid or anything like that to clean that, that's fine. That's on you. Uh, as far as the Arlen Ness instructions go, use soap water. You do not want to clean this with soap water. Stick it back on your bike and go for a ride because you're going to suck a bunch of water into your intake and that you're just going to have a really bad day. Make sure you get this thing super clean. Get it super dry. So something you may want to do in the evening, put it back on your bike. Air filter all dried out. We got it pushed back into our cover. I'm gonna take one of our bolts. Little blue Loctite on there. We've got our banjo bolt covers, the things that fell earlier. We got those on there and we hope that they stay while we put this in. And I go ahead and get that one not tight. I can still move this, but it's enough to hold my plate covers in. And the reason why I smear the blue Loctite around the bolt like that is because it gets so much on there and then you're putting this through a hole that it exactly fits in so if you got a big glob on there and you push it through you're probably going to end up with a big glob of blue loctite out here when you tighten it up so just get it around the threads because that's what i want it to do uh, overnight is just set up Let's get our fingerprints off of everything, get this thing cleaned up, and that's it. We now have a servo cover, one that uh, is all metal, so I don't really, over time, hopefully it won't, you know, turn colors or anything, because it is karaoke, so we'll wait and see on that. But it did fit with this air cleaner, so I don't know. You know, on the website, like I said, I'll put a link to it down in the description, but uh, you're kind of rolling the dice on it because it is made for the Bantam air cleaner that Kiryakin makes, but it says it's also uh, it also fits most air cleaners. So like I said, if you've got a chromed out bike and you've got that big goofy servo rubber thing on there, rubber harness wire cover, that covers it up. It's pretty easy to do. It took about, I don't know, four or five minutes. Yeah, it's not one of those super hard things to do. You probably could do it without watching this video, but it's just videos just kind of make you aware that those parts are available. Um, a lot of people just may overlook that piece or not even think that there's anything out there on the market to cover that up. And like I said, a lot of them that are on the market are specific to the certain air cleaners. Now, the Arlen S air cleaners that we run or the Trask air cleaner that we run on the Softail, well, there's not servo covers specifically made for those. We had to kind of find a universal one and eh, ended up getting the Kiryakin one, which everything surprisingly went okay, except for the non-sticky, sticky gasket. Also, don't forget to check out the other four videos on the Advan Black Color Swap that we did back here. That part there was found actually because we were paying so much attention to little stuff while we were building and swapping the tins that I saw that and needed to get that replaced. So uh, make sure you check out the Advan Black Color Swap combos. Like I said, all links will be down below, even to all of the tools that we use today. All of those links will be down below. You should really check out that Master Torx bit set that I use there. That thing is it is nice. That thing has every Torx and Hex bit that you will ever need to work on your Harley Touring model. But like I said, all the links will be down below. If you have any questions on this install, you know the deal. Comment section down below. I'll try to help you the best that I can. I'm going to get out of here and get myself back to work. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, as always, be safe. Keep your knees in the breeze. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe popping up over here. And don't forget to check out the rest of the channel because we have a ton of backer related and soft tail videos on our channel. And to get you started, maybe you can check out this one or this one. I'm not really gonna say anything else. You can just click one of those and take it over to another video.